Good evening and welcome to Davos. This is Arthur Phillip coming in live on day three at the World Economic Forum. It has been an action-packed day once again. And today we're standing right outside, you can see it behind me, the expanse, the beauty, the glass that lets everybody look in and see the action and the energy and the buzz taking place. So since we last spoke, last evening, we held our first ever CEO reception here at the World Economic Forum, hosted by CVK. We were graced with over 40 distinguished executives and CEOs from around the world. And one of the highlights at the CEO reception last night, we were joined by the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize winner, Kailesh Satyarthi. He is known around the world by billions of people as being the true global champion in stopping child labor. So let's shift gears to this morning. We started bright and early once again with a high quality audience, a great panel, broadcast live on fastcompany.com, focused on the disruptive innovation in banking in the year 2030. It was hosted by Rahul Singh, the president of financial services for HCL, and Stephanie Mehta, the editor-in-chief of Fast Company, was our moderator. She did an excellent job bringing together this diverse cast and crew. We were joined by Ann Carnes, the vice chair of MasterCard, Haimit Ersik, the CEO and president of Western Union, and Laurent Lemole, the CEO of PayU. And let me tell you, there was a lot of great, not only discussion about the future, but debating about where the future will lie in financial services. So, we're getting ourselves ready for our first ever Goodwill Champions event tonight. We're gonna to be honoring six incredible organizations around the world that are helping men, women, and children, and helping grow the lives uh, and bring people to a better human quality all around the world. This is gonna be fantastic. We'll come back tomorrow and give you an update of day four. That's all for tonight. Thank you for joining in. This is Arthur Phillip signing out from Davos.